Okay, so I'm going to do a recap of the past couple days. I uploaded a video, or I tried uploading a video yesterday because I was all PO'd about, <clears throat> I'm going to try not to cuss too, PO'd about what happened at the promo I was working. Like, um, so we were at the venue and uh, we rotate stations. So we're just atmosphere models. We're there to like chit chat with the guests, make sure that they're okay, make sure they know where coat check is, um, tell them about raffle tickets, etc. etc. So there's a lot of activities going on during this. There's like concerts going on, Uncle Cracker was there, um, and so forth. So we were in the room where Uncle Cracker was because um, they have different artists at different times. <coughs> and it's near VIP too. And that was the next place we were going to go to. But there's some dudes standing next to us, me and my partner. We have partners, so we don't get stolen. Um, and he was just, like, hanging out there. But he wasn't really talking to us. He was kind of, like, staring at us. And I was like, uh... And we were like, hey... And he was all, like, get on the floor. Like, because we were on a platform that looks like a haystack. Okay. And, um... He's like, you don't need to stand there. Because I, I told him, like, we're supposed to be standing, like, on our haystack or whatever. He was like, no, you don't need to do that. Like, uh, kind of, like, in, aggress in an aggressive way. And then he was all, he was bucking up to me. He was like, like that. You know what I mean? He did that three times. He did that three times. And on the third time, he tried to pull my costume down. Okay? None of our, like, um, handlers were around. They float to check on us to make sure we're doing our job. I didn't see any policemen in that area. So, like, with the weight of how he pulled down, like, I kind of, like, stepped off the, the platform. And there would have been an altercation if my partner didn't get me. So, my partner got me and she was like, hey, do you want to get a policeman? And I was like, yes, I do. Let's go get one. I was pissed off. So, we had two other pairs of girls in there. One pair we couldn't see, they're a little short. Um, and like, that part of the concert hall was kind of like at a, at a, a ridge like that. So one pair was at the higher end and we were kind of in the middle and they were down here somewhere. So we couldn't find them. So we spotted the other ones and we told them, we're gonna go look for some police, okay? Um, and we get the police and He's like, well, point him out to us. And then he gets on his walkie. You know, there's all these other police that show up from wherever they were. And uh, this other dude that's, he's got like a cowboy hat. and I guess he's like undercover kind of police security. Um, and he was telling us, is it the drunk old guy? And we're like, no, 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 no. He's like short and stocky, Hispanic guy, bald. Different guy, different guy. Um... So we go back, and our haystack is occupied by some guy who looks like, I don't know, he's not bleeding, he doesn't look like he had a heart attack, he just looks a little in shock for some reason. We don't know what's going on, but that's where we're supposed to stand, okay? So we're like, um, okay. And the Hispanic guy is like right in that area, and we're like, oh! so my partner points him out. And then the, you know, police officer's like helping the guy naturally because that's what he's supposed to do. And then he looks over at me and I'm like, like that is that guy right there, right there. And he's like, yeah, I, he's like mouthing to my face. I know, I know. And I was like, okay, I'm just making sure you know because you got caught up helping whatever happened to that guy. So um, later on when we were dressing out, I heard a sign fell on somebody, so I'm guessing that's what happened to that guy that was sitting on our haystack, because he wasn't bleeding, but he kind of looked out of it, so I'll assume that's what happened, um, but yeah, drunk Hispanic guy that tried to pull off my costume got escorted out, and if I wasn't in costume, his face would have been unrecognizable, so, um, there's so many reasons why I don't go to the clubs that, that often. Stuff like that happened to me a lot. Not necessarily like me in a costume, but like people trying to grab my butt, um, 
people just trying to grab me, people trying to like yank me in a direction, like grab my wrist and because my wrists are kind of small, okay? You know what I mean? And I don't weigh a whole lot. And I usually go to places by myself, which is probably not the best idea, but I mean, I can't just wait around for everybody to be wanting to go to the same place I want to for the same reason. You know what I mean? It ain't gonna work that way. I would never go anywhere. So, um, yeah, I just, I don't go to clubs, and I especially don't go to clubs to, like, meet guys. Guys, we don't go to clubs to meet you. We go there because all of our other friends are there. Just to let you know if that's your mentality. And also, there's another douchebag at the event. Like, um, he was, so we had, like, six girls in our cluster. And there was this one girl who's really petite, uh, really super cute blonde, married. Now, I will let you know, tons of promo girls are married. Or they're, they have fiancés. Like, we had, like, ten in that group of, I don't know, 30 girls. Um, most of them have boyfriends. I'm probably the only one who never really has one, uh, when I do events. Um, but yeah, ten of those girls had a ring on it. Um, and this dude was like, he was like seriously trying to holler at her. And this, it's funny because it wasn't even like a Maxim or a Playboy party. You know what I mean? We were at a honky tonk bar. Um, and... Finally, I was I was getting really mad. I was like, do you need me to do something? Because obviously, like, our handlers were still floating. All of the girls were concentrated in one area. Our floaters were still, hold, like, floating to take us out in patches instead of taking us out in, like, a huge group. Um, which is smart, I guess. It makes sense. Um, I was getting so mad at this guy, you know, because he kept on harassing her. And she's, like, the shortest girl in the group and really, really cute, you know what I mean? And I was like, oh, I'm getting so pissed. Um, and finally he was all like, well, why are you doing this if you're married? Dude, it's a fucking job. Seriously? We're getting paid to be cute and charming, to be the party. It's still a job. She's not trying to hook up with you. She's not trying to hook up with your, with your crew, you know what I mean? We're not here for that. We're here to get paid. Okay? Let's get that straight. We're not fishing for men. That is obviously not a problem if you see us. They don't ugly they don't hire ugly promo chicks. Okay? That doesn't happen. Especially for events like that where you're just walking around and mingling with the with the people. They're not gonna hire a bunch of ugly girls that aren't capable, you know, of having their own relationships outside. You know what I mean? You have to be social you know, and you have to be pretty. And that's why we're there. Okay, so anyway, that's enough about that. <laughs> I was about to knock some people out if I wasn't working. Like, under normal conditions? No. I wouldn't even put up with that. Um, everyone was really nice. There were no catty girls. Unfortunately, the super cute itty bitty one like her shoes disappeared and that is why I lock up my stuff I have luggage locks on my bags and actually uh, take that out. this bag locks um, I have one sports sack bag that locks okay so it's like a little itty bitty duffel right and it has these so I'll just demonstrate real quick just like that it locks and it unlocks now for a while I couldn't find these keys because I move around a lot and I have a bunch of crap see um, and when I travel I, I haven't reorganized my bag but or bags but this is some of my stuff I was only here for a weekend by the way so this is some of my stuff um, I bought that pink sweatshirt, but I have my Oakley travel bag, so I've got this, it's pretty handy, and then that one that I just showed you, and then over there, that's like one of my laundry bags, that's clean towels and stuff in there, and I think Peter just woke up because I heard his door open, and then I have the 
bag that Derek gave me from China. Um, that carries all my makeup and other... Well, it carries my laptop, too. And then this, my little shopper. And then that's some of my laundry. Because I didn't know if they were going to change, like, oh, well, we need you to wear this. You know what I mean? So I brought, like, a ton of leggings, some, like, denim shorts, a little black dress, just in case I get, like, um, the Diddy party. Um, I have two little black dresses on me, actually. But one of them I can actually wear as a dress, and the other one I have to wear tights under, or else I'm going to be flashing everybody in my butt. Um, hey, I'm Good morning. morning. That's Peter. He morning. just. Yeah. Oh, girl, you still got the waves. You're making me seasick. Oh, I hope they heard that. <laughs> Love it. So, so for the past couple days, like, because I have naturally kind of wavy hair, when I don't comb it, when I comb it, it's actually kind of straight. But it's boofy because of the humidity. Um, he was trying to say, he was trying to get me to say, oh, your waves, are, yeah, your waves are making me seasick. <laughs> so, but getting back to that, so we were at North Park. Finally, his, finally we were find, able to find parking. We ate first, and then we came back. This is Aveda's Be Curly. It's a new treatment. So they have like a whole line of stuff. So they have a shampoo, conditioner, this, which is like a leave-in conditioner, and then they have um, something else that helps enhance the curls even more. I think this is the one that protects it against humidity. I'm not really sure. But this is like third step. So. I got a free sample by walking into Aveda yesterday, and I wanted to try it out because I actually I have naturally wavy hair, so I want to see what it looks like. I could do like that that little hipstery look, like I don't comb my hair because I usually actually I don't like combing my hair because because it's naturally wavy, and then I comb it out and it's straight, but it's not stick straight. You know what I mean? It's not like Asian Asian girl hair. Um, and that, that's why I have to like, actually use a straightener to straighten my hair to make it, you know, like that wet dog straight hair look. I don't know how else to explain it because when I get Japanese straightening, like uh, like in Korea, I got the the chemical straightening a lot. And like right after I look like a wet dog, it's just so straight and like hangs on your face like this. Like it takes a couple days for it to look kind of cute. Um, for me anyway. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, I think it's working. Well, that's bad side. Well, it, it looks like it's working pretty decently. I liked it. Um, this is what it looks like. So it's just, you know, like that. Um, and you put it in after you, like, shampoo and condition. And it's just a leave-in conditioner. It smells nice. You know, it smells like Aveda products. You know, very green. Um... So, that's interesting. I have a lot of friends with curly hair, and they're like, Oh, I hate my hair, blah, blah, blah. And so, this might actually make them like their hair. So, I thought I'd try it out. Um, it's light. I mean, it's kind of... Yeah, even even now, like, I, you know, put it on my hands. It doesn't feel that gross, you know. I like the way it smells. So, uh, all my friends with curly hair should definitely go in for a sample and try it out. Now, today is Super Bowl Sunday. So, my audition video for a uh, next host for that Bond TV show that they're trying to do, it's going to be very similar to Drive In Steiners and Dives. Okay. Um, that's the concept. They want to like an, an Asian American show on the Vietnamese channel. So, that's why I don't have to be Vietnamese for this. I'm Asian American. Yay! All right. So, um, you need to go to Nugent's Media. That's the YouTube channel. You need to stock right now. Um, I'll try to like annotate this and stuff so you can have the links. And they should be uploading it today. Uh, so sometime during the Super Bowl I would need you to watch my video, watch all the other videos, and please vote for me because I really, 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 really want this. Obviously um, when I vlog there's not a lot of production quality. I just don't know how to do that. Okay, so I'm sorry. but. As you can see, it's all my personality. So obviously I have the personality for something like this. I'm not afraid of the camera. I'm talking to you like I'm talking to you. Um, and I've got the energy for it. So I mean, I'm not trying to hard sell you or anything. But I mean, look at this.